All right, so what I did off video is I did scrape all the all the gasket off off the old gaskets. Um, I did remove that calling. I removed the base, and I have the base. It's kind of free floating here because we're gonna need the extra room when we put it back together. Um, so I have my new used calling. I'm gonna slip it on there. You're gonna want to be careful. Uh, not to well, actually I'm gonna get out my seal kit first and I'm gonna put in this this bottom seal here so my seal kit you have the inside and outside seal this is the outside seal the rubber is gonna go to the bottom um, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to get her in here Again, I reiterate, if you're just joining me for these videos, make sure your pump is off and no power to the pump. Unplugged, unswitched. Uh, you definitely don't want it to run when you got your hands in there. There we go. Got the outer part of the seal in. Move my drill aside. Uh, I'm gonna drop it on the motor while it's vertical, just to make sure everything lines up. Um, Which it does the smaller bolts that you'd taken out are gonna be the top bolts. Hopefully we're still in frame here. I'll move her down. We're gonna mount everything like this. It's this gonna make it a lot easier. before we lay it flat. Because there's not a lot of room here once you get this foot in. I'm not a super fan. It just makes everything harder to get to. Gosh, I wish I had a ratchet for this. Sorry to bore you. Fast forward until I got it horizontal if you don't want to watch me get these last two in.
tighten these down evenly just like a tire you don't want any extra play in directions you definitely don't want any wobble in here Apologize if any of that was out of view. So, approximately where the pump was before. Hopefully I got enough juice in my camera to finish up here. Try, my, my seals did get wet. Usually these come uh, dry. Get the other half of the rotary seal in here. Come on. Then the spring out of the seal kit pushes against the bottom bottom of the impeller. If you notice some scratches like this in the impeller, they're actually uh, due to balancing. It's like a tire, these impellers spin fast, so they need to be balanced. Lines up with the rotary seal. Where my Cadillacs go? The big ones, the little black ones. You see them? I can grab the ones that you got. Alrighty. Gosh, these are fresh channel locks. You guys always get the nicest pair of channel locks, huh? My heart beat up and rusty. So there we go, got that tightened up. We will get the gasket in here. Important to make sure your gaskets line up with your bolt holes. Just like that, the first stage. The first stage that I've scraped clean, really banged everything out. I'll get it to line up like that. Sometimes as I'm lining stuff up, I'll just make sure my bolt fits in. Where I want it to. No. It'll be right there. Piece of gasket. This seal. Grab the second stage.
sometimes better done with a rubber mallet, but if you're gonna hit it, hit it on the inside. Uh, that's not a ceiling portion, as is the outside. All right. Oh, son of a. Son of a doozy. That's a good one. Got the spacer. stage of the impeller on. Grab the channel locks once again. last gasket and then sometimes these gaskets once you put them together they will leak for a little bit but then they will seal up uh, once they swell tight. I don't think this has near enough torque to actually tighten them. Go back to my 9 16th wrench. wrong position. Got side, side. I honestly don't no position makes a whole lot of difference with this last one. But it never hurts to put it back like it exactly was. Put my tool in the way. Classic. All right. this point your pumps all together just up to get the irrigation pumping I'm gonna put my test valve back together but first I'm going to 
my shaft freely rotates in there so we're good there all right thanks for watching